West River Trail is made up of three segments which lay on and near the old West River Railroad bed, between Brattleboro and South Londonderry, Vermont. The southernmost is a three and a half mile segment which travels from Brattleboro to Dummerston. Parking for this section can be found at both ends of the trail. To find the southernmost parking area, follow Spring Tree Road in Brattleboro a quarter of a mile to the end. Here you'll find a decent sized parking area. The trail begins here by following a dirt road which is bordered by farmland on your right and the river on your left. After a quarter of a mile, it turns into a pathway and soon travels under the I-91 overpass. As the trail continues, you can clearly see where the rail bed was cut into the ledgy mountainside. Now imagine how inconvenient it would be if you were on a train and that was sitting on the tracks in front of you. This entire segment is dirt and gravel and is fairly well maintained. Just be aware that there are little rocks and stumps here and there. Most of this rail trail lies in the woods with the West River next to it, so even on a hot day it can offer a nice cool relaxing walk or bike ride. The trail continues up along the river valley until it reaches the northern parking area at Rice Farm Road in Dummerston. Three quarters of a mile before getting to the north end, the trail turns back into a power line right of way. There is parking on this end of the trail, but it's also very limited. There are only a few spots at the trailhead, along with some road parking. After conquering the southern part, drive about 15 miles north on Route 30 for the next segment. Right where Route 30 meets Townsend Lake, you'll find the southern parking area for this part of the trail, which begins at the north end of the parking area. This section of trail begins by going down through the woods to the lakeshore below. It follows the old Route 30 for two and a quarter miles, close to where the railroad once was. Just be aware that this entire section lays in a flood zone, meaning that in the springtime or any time of high water, it may be closed or too dangerous to hike. At the north end, you'll be greeted by a gate in the other parking area. To start from this end, turn off from Route 30 right across from Ritchie's Lane in Townsend. This will be the old Route 30. At the bottom of the hill is the parking area. Two down, one segment to go. The last segment stretches from Jamaica up to South Londonderry, some ten and a half miles. And while it is one continuous trail, it can easily be split into sections depending on how far you'd like to hike. Parking can be found at Jamaica State Park, Ball Mountain Lake, Winhall Brook Camping Area, and in South Londonderry at the end of West River Street. If starting from Jamaica, parking can be found at the State Park, which is located on Salmon Hole Lane. Once at the park, you'll see signs pointing you towards the trail. For the most part, this section follows the old rail bed and gives you a good feel of how the line wound along the river. After two miles, the trail exits the state park. Coming up here, we'll be crossing a footbridge. Uh, what's cool about this is if you look down below, you'll see the original abutments from the railroad. After the footbridge, the trail turns into a smaller path and continues along the riverside another half mile to Ball Mountain Dam. As you get to the base of Ball Mountain Dam, you may think, well, that's it for the trail. Not true. If you look over here, there is actually a series of switchbacks that go up the side of the dam, which allows hikers the ability to go up and over and continue the trail on the other side. And even though you'll be climbing about 250 feet vertically, the switchbacks have a relatively low grade on them. Uh, this makes it a pretty easy hike for most anybody. And the view at the top is pretty remarkable, with the lake winding its way up the valley. And while you're at Ball Mountain Lake, you may as well take a minute to go out on the tower walk. Yeah, we're way up there, love. The tower rises 265 feet above the water, offering some great views of the lake. Of course, if you're afraid of heights, this may not be the place for you. After checking out the view, it's off to the trail again. 
At the top of the paved pathway, you'll see a parking area. If you're wanting to start the trail at this point, turn from Route 30 onto Ball Mountain Lake Access Road. Follow the road a mile and a half, where you'll see the parking area on your left. From the parking area, the trail continues up the river valley. You'll see a sign next to a break in the guardrail. The trail follows a pathway down through the woods and twists and winds along the river. The following two and a quarter miles doesn't actually follow the old line, but just keep an eye out for the signs and you'll be all set. There's a bench here that you can sit on, and when you look out, you can see the old abutment. Which means soon, this trail will actually hook back into the rail bed. But first, it's more hiking through the woods. And after what feels like hours of hiking through flood zones and over dams and across streams and through the woods, you finally arrive back on the rail bed. The trail follows the well-maintained gravel road for one and three quarters miles along the old rail bed until it hits Winhall Brook camping area. You'll know you've reached the camping area when you see the old bridge abutments. At this point, the trail again veers from the original route mainly because the bridge is gone. Simply head up the camp road, cross their bridge, and back down the other side. If you'd like to begin here, you can find parking in Winhall Brook Camping Area, which is at the end of Winhall Station Road, off of Route 100 in Jamaica. This section offers a nice relaxing stroll through the woods. It's wide open, well-maintained, smooth, flat. Once you're on the rail trail, it's just under two miles before you've arrived in South Londonderry. To find the parking area at this end, turn on to West River Street from Route 100. This road is next to the original South Londonderry Terminal. Follow the road eight-tenths of a mile to the parking area at the end. The trail is straight ahead. Boy Aries, that was quite a day. But it seemed to fly by in just a few minutes. How is that possible? But if you're looking for a trail that has a little bit of everything, from smooth paved and gravel roads, to backwoods, to some great views, the West River Trail is right up your alley.